Subtraction of fractions Works a lot like addition. Like in addition, just remember that the denominators always must be the same. Let's try. 7 over 8 minus 3 over 8. Let's look at a pizza cut into 8 pieces. 7 over 8 equals 7 pieces. Take away 3 eighths, that is 3 pieces. We are left with 4 pieces. So 7 eighths minus 3 eighths equals 4 eighths. But look what we really did. We just subtracted the numerators. We can reduce 4 eighths to half. Now, let's do one without pictures. 10 over 15 minus 8 over 15 equals how much? The numerator will be 10 minus 8. The denominator will be 15, which is equal to 2. Therefore, the answer will be 2 over 15. Now, let's try and subtract two fractions which have different denominators. Take 2 third minus 3 fifths. Here, we have to find the common denominator which is the LCM. The LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Therefore, the denominator for both the fractions will be 15. Change the first number, 2 third, so that it has 15 as the denominator. And change the second number, 3 fifths, so that it has 15 as the denominator. And the numbers will be 10 over 15 minus 9 over 15 equals to 1 over 15. Therefore, 1 over 15 will be our answer. Let's try one more. 7 over 10 minus 13 over 20. The LCM will be hmm, 20. 7 over 10 will become 7 multiplied by 2 over 10 multiplied by 2, which equals 14 over 20. Thus, 14 over 20 minus 13 over 20 will be 14 minus 13 over 20 equals to 1 over 20. 